Hello, my friends. Today we're talking about different types of platforms, different types of videos which you can use for your promotion, for your communication, to build the portfolio of your coaching or expertise videos, and which platform to use for 2019. How to use branding and video marketing strategy in 2019? What types of video will work for you? What what kind of branding do you need to focus on because things are changing again and therefore we really need to work more carefully on our strategy and create a perfect video marketing strategy and branding strategy for 2019 so that you can work and enjoy your business. So my name is Yves and I am your business and brand creator and right now let's start to talk about the platforms. So a little bit about history again because uh, video platforms are different. So when we talk about the newest, let's start with the newest, which is a Snapchat. And Snapchat is really lovely platform, which is mostly created for uh, phones. And it is for younger audience. You'll find a lot of people, a lot of millennials there. So if your audience is younger audience, then it's excellent because it's really a great place for you. So how does it work? You really communicate with people pretty, pretty quickly. You communicate, uh, you can do it all the time. The video is disappearing. So the sense of urgency to watch the videos which are disappearing all the time, that the idea of Snapchat. So uh, they also basically invented that emojis and the face recognition. So you can change the face, you can use really realistic filters and all those dogs and flowers and all this kind of things, which was really crazy for a while. So if your audience is young, if you really like to and enjoy that crazy filters and stuff like that, then it's all for you. So now what you can, uh, what you need to understand when you do this um, Snapchat business. So you really need to focus on crazy, funny, funky ideas. People really want to see you all, all the time. So what Gary Vee says, he uses Snapchat just to get customers closer and see what he does every day. So he said, check me on Snapchat. I woke up this time. I did that. So if you really want to journal in, so to say, with your videos and you're crazy about doing videos all the time and speak to, to the world with your videos, Snapchat is full. And if your audience is there, then definitely do it. <clears throat> I found it a little bit overwhelming, but uh, my audience is not there either. So you really need to understand who is your target audience and then you can use this platform. Uh, Facebook successfully uh, still the idea of disappearing videos from Snapchat. They were pioneering in this and Facebook obviously stealing the ideas all the time. So they did uh, steal the emojis from them. They did steal the face recognition uh, filters and the vertical disappearing videos. So they created the stories for Instagram and later for Facebook. So this is basically this guy's pioneered in this uh, concept. This concept was reused on Facebook. Obviously, when I say stealing, it's I'm kidding. It's not about stealing. It's about borrowing creative ideas. So now let's go to the eldest platform, shall we? <laughs> so when we talk about Twitter, Twitter is really crazy because this is really old medium and it is hanging for a while. So um, <clears throat> I have to tell you this, that uh, Twitter is really, really um, absolute right now and old people use it still and uh, it does make sense I do is most uh, I do use it mostly automatically but yes they not just add the platform but also they invented basically they introduced the live streaming at the first social media so for a long time Periscope was the only way only social media place where you could live stream so it was extremely popular the concept of a live streaming on Periscope was to show different areas, different places. When you are in different places in the world, you can share with people who can't be there right now. So it was really 
pioneering in this um, social media world however uh, it was not very successful because Twitter actually getting elder and elder and elder they losing their followers so Twitter is very different and old now so if you have very old audience maybe Twitter is for you and maybe you can use Periscope for this I cannot say that right now you have a lot of traction with the Periscope so uh, it also have quite an old technology so the quality of video is poor you can't use uh, really really uh, lovely filters and all those kind of things so uh, it's a little bit old so as it is all old they also pioneered with the idea when people send you hearts and likes and you can see these hearts are popping on your video so exactly same thing which uh, again Facebook creatively borrowed from them so there was a famous phrase which all the periscopers said that send me more hearts so that was a phrase from periscope not from Facebook Facebook borrowed it again so now let's go to the another eldest platform for videos so eldest platform for videos is obviously YouTube YouTube is the greatest platform for your videos because it's belong to Google as it belonged to Google uh, it automatically if you post a lot of videos which are linked to your site it help you to rank yourself better to be more visible in search engines so it's really really powerful yet because it is an old platform it's a little bit difficult to get instant connection instant attraction on YouTube so I would say that YouTube is a great place for your site and as a coach I would recommend you to treat your channel as the portfolio for your coaching brand or as you are an author it has to be your portfolio because if you will adopt the idea which all the designers have about the portfolio Portfolio. portfolio is the greater thing which sell designers to the clients so online portfolio how does it look like for example in here I have different categories on my main page and this is video marketing for entrepreneurs and then later I have sex uh, success mindset strategy for branding and video marketing so uh, later I also have tag this is one of my newest channels so I don't have many videos yet there but the idea is very simple you create in portfolio which uh, of the videos which are collected under particular topic and then you create place playlist with that so people can see a little bit deeper value which you can offer now how do you create such videos you really look for what people are looking for you will really need to understand what keywords to use so all these numbers for social media for online business are really important here so when you think about SEO when you think about um, your target audience when you think about the keywords when you think and uh, about the technology that you're supposed to use the uh, the name of your video during your videos so face uh, the YouTube can hear you so they can hear what are you talking so you when you create a particular title for your YouTube when you create particular description for your YouTube uh, video you also have to use that particular words like in my case it will be branding and video marketing strategy for 2019 and today we're talking about different uh, video platforms about different social media platforms which are featuring video as the main medium so when we talk about the YouTube it also the search engine so you really need to create write headlines you really need to create the compelling um, thumbnails you really need to work with different things different ideas so people will watch your videos anyways this is like five days old channel so you don't have many views here so uh, the idea is very very simple you really need to look on the quality of your videos and you really need to create the content which can last for a very long time so YouTube is powerful and old it's not easy to get there now let's talk about the um, different platforms which, which also feature in videos nowadays so this is an Instagram Instagram video feed is about uh, 30 uh, minutes I guess or so 
so when we oh, so 30 seconds i'm sorry or so so it's actually all about creating different videos for you but instagram is a lot about quotes it's a lot about different um visuals so it's a lot about the uh, communication with clients via visuals so you may use videos you may not use videos but the key idea for instagram is images so you can use videos on instagram 30 seconds is enough to give a short tutorial or description of your product or make an advertising video how to do it use the same method for instagram which means use quotes use large texts and uh what i can show you with this video it's a very simple thing you basically have a very large uh, readable text so it is uh, and, and quite a bright image so people People can follow the idea people can quickly get the attention to that so the key idea for Instagram videos say a bright quick and advertising like now when we talk about different type of video on Instagram they are related to the stories and in your stories so you can i mean i can show you uh, on my phone not on computer but the idea is that along with your stories you can create live videos these live videos will disappear i still can get any of these live videos with me in, even in my story archive so you can use the live videos as well for your stories and the the instagram also featured a different type of um of the content which is recorded quality content which is IGTV. IGTV is a copy of the Facebook watch and they trying to overcome the YouTube with the vertical video so they create the content for mobile phones as you understand. The good part of IGTV videos for Instagram that you can feature the link here unlike on Instagram where you can only feature the link in the bio you can actually use the link right here in the description it is clickable and you can also make a call to action in your video if you like and when you create the <clears throat> announcement for you you save your stories right here you can actually make them clickable and they will lead you to the uh, video on your Instagram. I don't know if it does work on computer, but that's an idea. So you generate the link, which is guide people to your IGTV video. This is the three click strategy. So I don't think it will work so powerfully, but at least it's the way when you can show people some video, you can guide people to some, um, in some direction <clears throat> so they can click or not click your promotion. So that's really important now so instagram three types of video the live video in your stories which is disappearing the short 30 seconds video in your feed which is good for promote your product and more promotional like and inspiration so it has to be really gra a grabbing attention video now the long so to say quality video for igtv so that requires some quality that requires some <clears throat> interesting effects or something like this so it'd be more noticeable as you see i just started with igtv not many views but the key is that you need to focus on this link that is the only purpose of igtv as i see it maybe instagram see it differently so think about that now when we talk about the uh facebook the Facebook is extremely powerful. The Facebook allow you to post on your page. <clears throat> the Facebook allow you to post uh, all the places uh, on your profile. It allow you to post in your groups. It allow you to create the video, the live video in your stories. So let's talk a little bit uh, what exactly can be done in here. So I created many, many videos in my challenge so uh, again the good part on your page if you post videos on your page you can collect them into the playlist so if you collect them into the playlist uh, people will be able to and differentiate different things so they will be able to use it for them if they will watch it through this way which i'm adapting 
Now, um, what can happen? You can really watch different, different videos. You can really look different. Uh, you can collect the data. You can create the data for your advertising. So when you collect the views from the video, you can create the uh, specific uh, audience, the custom made audience, and this will work for you. Now, you can also create the videos on different parts of platform, but you will not be able to use the data for your custom audience. So what you need to do when you create live videos, the most popular uh, live videos are live videos on your profile where you can't advertise and live videos from your stories. Uh, so you really need to use these videos and you can repost them on your page so that you can collect the data as well. Now for longer format of the video and if you like to recapture the idea of branding and video marketing strategy 2019 part one uh, why long video do not work on Facebook anymore so long type uh, videos for Facebook are still working for your groups you really can create a long videos because people want to look deeper on your expertise and long videos will still work very well for your groups but what I would recommend that Facebook as again in the previous video I was talking about the data with I collected and social media examiner collected and many other people are complaining why Facebook uh, videos so not supposed to be longer than two minutes so if you want to make success with your videos on Facebook uh, this will be a two minutes video so let's go quickly recap through different different channels so when we talk about snapchat is disappearing videos which disappearing super quickly when we talk about the videos on twitter they're obsolete when we talk about videos on um, instagram these videos will work pretty well and these videos are to promote so they're bright and they're promotional and they're 30 seconds long and they can work for your facebook as well now, when we talk about the IGTV videos, uh, these are created mainly to post your links. I don't see any effect from IGTV as such. But yes, it's a good place to again create the portfolio for your, uh, of your videos, just like you would do on YouTube it's not very searchable because when i was not logging to instagram i couldn't see my igtv videos that's why i think it is not searchable so it's not that effective as youtube because google is still way more powerful than facebook now let's go to the youtube and youtube is your portfolio is a powerful videos which are really created for your customers and you create these videos to be searchable on google and use them on your blog now the facebook videos is promotion videos so think about two minutes video well on YouTube you create long the longer the better the longer the better quality focus on quality all the time for YouTube Facebook allow you to create bad quality videos and short videos will work better entertainment 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 so entertain uh, Facebook viewers with the short videos and you will get the results so that's my message for you for today use it wisely use platform which is they definitely work for your audience because the Facebook audience is elder than Instagram audience. The YouTube audience is really wide, but again, it's elder. When we talk about Snapchat, it's a very young audience. Use it wisely. Use the right platform for you. Create shorter or longer or more entertaining videos. Maybe cut the long videos on the shorter pieces and reuse it on Instagram. And we will talk about strategy. What kind of tips and ideas you can use in the next video in the past number three and we will talk a lot about the strategic reusing repurposing of your videos and this will work for you pretty well i'm absolutely sure you will rock your branding and video marketing strategy in 2019 and this will work for you super super great so that's my message for you today i would like to read your comments and connect with you so please comment below and subscribe and let's talk more about branding and video marketing and i will see you next time Bye-bye.